Why would you try and polish a turd? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, my name is Tashi Tinks. You can call me Tashi, you can call me Tash. If you fancy it. If you are new here, don't forget to click the subscribe button if you like these kind of videos on editing, Instagram, photos, tips, posing tips, taking photo tips, makeup tutorials, fashion hauls. This is what we do. But today, by the way, sorry if you can hear drilling. Literally, as I sat down to film, people started drilling like right outside my house and I can see that they're doing a big job it's not going to be finished anytime soon and I wanted to film this video with you guys so if you can hear it I'm really sorry about that I feel like I'm saying if you can hear it I'm pretty sure you can definitely hear it because it's pretty damn loud oh I just stopped I'm sure they'll be back though um anyway today we are back with part two of my ugly location shoot challenge video. I did this one, I think it was actually literally a year ago to date. So I'm doing four locations again like I did last time. We have got public toilets. These were stinky as f And then we've got a petrol station. And then we've also got a news agents. And then we've also got a kebab shop slash chicken shop, you know, like a, you know what I mean, that kind of shop. So that is the four we're doing today. I'm gonna to get straight into location number one. I go to first things first. After we're this. <laughs> we're getting coffee. I've got a iced oat milk latte with sugar-free vanilla syrup. I got a without syrup. That's the one. We've made it to location number one. It's super sunny out, which is really nice, but we are heading into the toilets. Public toilets. Right on cue that was. And we just went in for just to suss the situation and they stink so bad. So we have our photographer. Me, hello. Me, hello, hello, hello. Hi. So this is this is how bad they look. So I'm just gonna show you what they look like first of all so you get the idea and then I'll set you up. This is the dedication, squatting on the bin. <laughs> Your legs look amazing though. Look at that form. Do you do yoga? Do you squat? Oh my god. Okay, so for location number one, I wasn't blown away by these pictures to be honest. Um, it's not really what I had in my mind. I did go to three different public toilets. I really wanted them to be, they were really grotty, but I feel like I want them to be even worse. I want them to be more like nude tones. I don't know why, I just had that in my head. So the ones that I favorited from that location was this one, this one, this one, and this one. But I also did take this kind of like foot one. And I also did take this mirror one, which I also think is quite cute. And then also my friend actually took this one of us like looking in the mirror, doing a mirror stuff, which I think is quite cool too. And then here they are edited. So for 
editing, I do use my own filters on Lightroom. You guys know this if you have been here before. Um, I just have my own presets that I made on Lightroom and that is what I use to filter my photos. Um, I am going to be releasing them soon. I know I've promised you these for so long, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, there was a little blip. Um, but we are back on track. I am just... They're all ready to go. Like, I have a pack made for you guys ready to go. I just need to sort my website out because my website is so old. So I'm sorting my website out so it can be updated and they can just be housed on my website so it's just much easier. So they are coming. Bear with me. I do really like the pastel door one. I think the doors look really, really cool. But as a general whole, I wasn't blown away by these photos at all. I don't think I'll post these, to be honest. I might potentially post one of the mirror ones. Like, I quite like this one in the black and white. I think that looks quite cool in the black and white. Um, so I would potentially post a black and white version of this. Um, and also the foot one, potentially, as like a filler photo, I could post this. But as I said, I wasn't blown away by these photos at all. I actually prefer the one in the mirrors than I do the actual full-on photos for my Instagram. I do think they're quite cool. I just don't really fancy them for my page personally. Okay, so moving on to location number two. Okay, this lighting is really weird because I have my face in the show and I was in the sun. But we made it to location number two and we're at a petrol station. I don't know if you can see it in the background. Kind of. Let me open the window. Yeah. Bobo has just gone in to get snacks. I feel like this one's going to be a little bit tricky though because obviously you can't have your mobile phone in a petrol station. So I think I'm going to take it from here, which is more like the parking area. Um... So we're not like right in the petrol station and hopefully we get away with it. I might do some from here and then I might try and get one near a pump. But yeah, as I said, I don't know how it's going to go because obviously you're not supposed to have your mobile phone in a petrol station. But if I put it on airplane mode, does that make any difference? I don't really know what the deal is with that. Like, why can't you have a mobile phone in a petrol station? I don't know. Like, will I cause an explosion? I don't know. Okay, she's back. So give us a little snack call. What did we get? All right, go Classic selection. So what have we got on there? Prawn mayo, BLT, and ham and mustard. Don't get this in Dubai. So I got my mushrooms and prawnsies. She <laughs> loves prawns. I felt <laughs> I, she's gonna eat them. I do love prawns, but I don't like that sauce. Is okay, that prawn? Have them on their own. I was gonna get you sweet chili, but I didn't know if you'd like, if you'd prefer the sweet chili or this one. No, no, they look good. Mm. Yay. Sugar free. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, here, go. Oh, this is going, I'm going so slow. <laughs> it's not that interesting. <laughs> Evian. Evian. Is that your uh, favourite water? It actually isn't. I like Fiji. Fiji's the best. Yeah. Fiji no. or, um, ah, oh, what's it called? Highland and Buxton's. Highland Springs, that's yes. good, yeah. And Buxton's good. They're open already, but. Oh my God, you didn't. They're the best. I did you it. open them? Yeah, sorry. Why did you open them, them upside down? I don't know, I was just in a rush frazzle? to get into it. Frazzle? Crispy bacon frazzle. And they're veggie too, you know? <laughs> Are they? Yeah. How do you know that? Because I've looked before. Perhaps, Bob, but you might be right, it doesn't... I'm definitely right, it has a V somewhere. Is it not on the front? Ready? Let me have a look while you continue your haul. Okay, that's it. Oh, all right, I'll that's it. I'll five V for the bag. The thing is... Choose for a vegetarian. Ooh. Down the bottom there, it's not gonna there focus. There you go, learn something new every day. Okay, we think we maybe have one 
here, but we're going to try and get one at the pump. We'll see if we get told off. versions that I favorited. And then this is the filtered one. So again, I've just used my own filter. definitely definitely consider posting these on the ground like a hundred percent especially this one i actually like them all like i do think they all are quite cool yeah i think this one's really really cute and it's like not super obvious that you're at petrol station but you can see you're at petrol station so i think it looks quite cool i love think these look really really cool okay so moving on to location number three we went to a news agents um i had news agents in mind because i knew it was quite small and um, that's kind of what I want, so I want it to feel really small. So let's see how we got on there. Hey, I've gone off. Okay, so we've just got to location number three. We are at a news agent. So it's kind of like a not like an old school news agent, but like a proper news agent, you know. So it's right behind me here. And Bobo is bought more snacks. More snacks to eat while she does her photography skills. <laughs> we crunchies and spirals and we We're gonna measure today. One. I know, that would be amazing. I've got the uh, Monopoly jackpot one, but we don't encourage gambling. Do we do not encourage gambling. No. A little scratch card every now and then. It's all right, right. yeah. to get warmed up i didn't really know what to do like i was grabbing just drinks off the shelf and then i was like i'm gonna go with the milk because i think that looks quite cool so the options the ones that i favorited from there was this one this one this one this one and then they had like a um well, first of all they had like a mirrored circular thing you know like where you can see a lot so me and my friend took a, took this in there which i think is quite cool and they also had a video camera, you know, like filming the store. So my friend took pictures of the video camera screen while I stood in front of the camera and we got this one, which I think is really cool. I'm sure, I'm sure Kendall Jenner did one like this, I think. And I've wanted to do this for ages, so I think this is really cool as well. And then the edited version. I did also 
also with these ones, if you can notice, you might not be able to. If I put them side by side, you will. I In Lightroom, you can do this thing where you use the geometric tool and you can like pull. It's almost like you're pulling the center of the photo back. Um, I'll show you quickly, hold on. Um, so if you go into Lightroom, so this one's for example, so just to show you, this is the before, and then this is the after. So what I've done is this tool here, geometric tool, if you go to here, so that's the original, if you pull it back, it like pulls the photo further away. Obviously you can't do it that much, but if you do it a little bit, it just really draws, it makes the, it makes the, the aisles look even narrower, if that makes sense. So it just really draws it in. It looks like you've almost taken it on, like compared to this, this is quite like flat. Whereas this, it almost looks like you've taken it on a wide lens, uh, a wide lens, <laughs> a wide angle lens. Um, it also does make you look a bit slimmer, like I think, no, from that to that, like I think it does because it, it is drawing everything further away. So you're kind of further away from the camera. I think, I, I think it does, right? Yeah, I think it definitely does. Um, so that's a bonus. But I think it works really well in these kind of photos when you just want to try and really draw the background like in. Does that make any sense? Hopefully that does make sense. Give it a go, try it. Geometry, geometry. Wow, is that how you say it? Yeah, I think so. So try this tool on Lightroom because I think it's really bomb. So I did add that to these photos. I only added that to these this location, none of the other locations, because I just didn't think it worked with the other locations. It's not something you would use on every photo, like, at all. It just works on certain photos, like this one, for example. Moving on to location, and the final location, number four, we went to a kebab shop, slash chicken shop. Don't really know what you call these in America. It's like a fast food shop, but you know where they have, like, the meat on that? I really don't like it. I think it's really, really gross. Um, I don't eat that kind of meat anyway. I only eat chicken, so to me, that's really rank. Anyway, that's where we went. I had one in mind, um, and I went and I asked the guy, and he was like, no. And I was like, I can't just take a picture here, like, why? So I was like, okay, fine, whatever. So we drove around for ages trying to find another one. So let's see how we got on in location number four. Okay, we are at the, oh, we are at the fourth and final location. <laughs> I can't believe I just got back into the car for this bit of film. <laughs> <laughs> just oh, had to be in it. Some of them are just really, really dark and there's just no way that you'd be able to get a picture in there. So hopefully this one says yes and hopefully we're good to go, so yes. And some people have also tried to make a kebab shop look really modern, which is something yeah. that doesn't work. No, doesn't just, like why would you try you and polish a turd? <laughs> hard because you don't know if you'll see this in that footage you just saw because obviously I haven't edited that part yet <laughs> but like okay so when I went in there to ask there was one guy behind the thing so then I started and he kind of went out the back and then before I knew it he literally brought like five other guys out with him so while I was doing this there was literally like six guys just watching me it was not fun and I just I was like, they were there, and I was like, I just can't even look, I can't make eye contact, I can't turn around because I felt so freaking uncomfortable. <laughs> like, it was just the most awkward thing ever. 
So yeah, that was fun. Love that for me. Anyway, these are the ones I favorited. So we have this one, this one, this one, which is more like a close-up shot, this one, and this one. And then the edited one. Close up one, this is it in colour, but I also pretty like it in black and white. I think actually I prefer the black and white. I think the hat looks really cool in black and white. Yeah, I really like this in black and white over the colour, personally. That's just me. I love black and white photos. Um, so yeah, this is how they came out. I actually do really love how these came out. I think they look quite cool. They definitely got quite a cool vibe to them. And I just, I think I just love the outfit, to be honest. I really like this jacket and these boots are sick and the hat is just everything. So that is how they came out for the fourth and final location. Let me know in the comments down below which one, which location or which photo you think is the best or what location you think I really nailed. But that is everything for this video. Thank you again to Annie Bobo. You guys know her from the last video. By the way, if you're wondering why I don't see her that much, I don't post her that often, it's because she actually lives in Dubai. So I only see her when she comes back or if I go there. So not on the reg. But thank you, by the way, for helping me film this video because it took a hot minute to film. <laughs> I hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.